Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac. I had a fun time on the last run. Did you have a fun time on the last run? I hope you had a fun time on the last run. Cellar 1, why don't we go to our uh, curse room right away. This so frequently works out like this. We have a uh, secret room right off the bat. Glad I didn't reroll Guppy's tail. I mean, we could become Guppy on this run. I think relatively guilt-free, if you ask me. Uh, we also picked up a 1-up. This is a really, really good start. And it's not an XL floor, which is nice for a change. Or at least it's nice relative to the last floor. Uh, that, we couldn't bomb our way out of that, so... We do unfortunately find ourselves in a little bit of an HP, uh... We're lacking HP. Like, it doesn't need to be phrased more flowery than that, I suppose. I'm very happy that we picked up, uh, just random HP from that poop. That doesn't happen all that often. To just get it with kind of, like, no fanfare is... Surprising, let's put it that way. But yeah, things are starting out pretty nicely here. And we've got the, you know, the, the positive reinforcement of the guppy situation already happening for us. We've already picked up one guppy item for free, so now other guppy items that we find are going to be incentivized. When that happens, it's hard to stop. I would be very surprised. It, and we're only three floors in, but if I get deals with the devil, I'd be very surprised if we didn't become guppy now. Sorry for those of you who really dislike guppy, but at the same time, it's, uh, it's the smart play. And I'm trying to keep a streak alive here. We do have kind of like a little bit of a, a pseudo streak going. Really hope that that would be a bomb, but hey, that's fine. Much more likely to want to reroll blood rights than whatever uh, the boss gives us. Really? Well, I say we reroll this, maybe get a bomb. Oh, we rerolled a half heart into a full heart. I mean, it's better. Not really a huge get for us, but that's okay. And we're fighting the pink widow. Pink Widow uh, sounds like a Marvel Comics uh, like super villain or something like that. Super villainous? Does that work? Like those hero heroes and heroines? Are there villains and villainesses? I don't know if it's a gendered term. I'm not trying to start anything one way or the other. I'm just interested in it from a language perspective. You know, it'd be good to know. Everyone's gonna know what you're talking about either way. Now, Pink Widow, I, I like this fight. You could not make me. This, this is like the cardinal sin of broadcasting, but you could not make me less interested in this Pink Widow fight right now. Because if we take damage, the odds of it having a, an impact on our run, positively or negatively, are pretty much nil. Especially now that there's HP on the ground. It's really the next floor where uh, where things become super important. So we pick up Squeezy. The Spirit Arts are a huge get for us, and the Tears upgrade is uh, an added benefit that is maybe better long term, but short term. This Spirit Heart could potentially guarantee us a huge amount of uh, offensive potential from a deal with the Devil coming up on this floor. So I'm hoping that that ends up indeed working out. Shooting the fire, even though it's annoying as hell, because there's a chance we get some money. If we get even a single penny, I'll think it's worth it. We didn't, but whatever. At least we know. And the reason I'm so uh, interested in getting that money is because we are pretty close to being able to make our shop worthwhile on this floor. So I'm thinking... We'll try to kill the, the hopper. Okay, and then we'll get you, like, close to the wall here. No, 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 no. No, 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 you're going the wrong direction. Wrong direction. Really? You were in such a perfect position, and now you want to get up in my face? Alright, well, you did it to yourself. That's fine. Shoot this, and we have a... Yeah, we're going to have a perfect uh, reroll opportunity here, which I'm a big fan of. We shouldn't... Oh, we're going to get a spirit heart. And all this poop will explode by itself, which is such a minor benefit, but I'm like, oh, at least I don't have to shoot all the poop for myself here to see if there's any money. And the fact that it exists means there's a pretty good chance that I'll get at least a penny or two out of it, which takes us closer to the magic number for making the shop worthwhile. Of course, there is the chance we get uh, the crate or pageant boy, which would also take us closer. Those might be relatively uh, optimum items for us right here, but for now, we'll just kind of float in shots from the beyond. I think blue... I mean, apart from giving you a spirit heart, what's special about Blueberry Jr. is that I think he is maybe a little tankier. Not that big of a deal for us in this situation, though, as you can see. So we got HP, a spirit heart. This is good. Guppy items would totally be open to take right now. But instead, we're going to be fighting Krampus. Which is fine. Free lump of coal. Our damage is uh, acceptable, I'd say. We don't have any bombs to use here, which is annoying. And you never, you know... I never appreciate Krampus when I get it early, or when I get Love of Coal early, because he's a hard boss to fight when you're weak, and we're pretty weak. We've had a Tears upgrade. Oh, yeah, dodge right into that. Also, you know, because I'm doing poorly on this fight, there's a chance that I'll lose these Spirit Hearts that can give me a, oh my god, give me a good chance of deals with the Devil in the future, so 
It's hard to be thankful that we're getting a free lump of coal here when it potentially screws me a little bit for later deals with the devil, but at the same time, thank you. I am thankful for it. And, uh, you know, having that lump of coal will help me do more damage to enemies in the future and lose less spirit hearts like I am on this terrible, terrible fight here. And it's definitely worth picking up. So, lost a lot of spirit hearts, feel like a big idiot, but that's okay. It's nothing new for me. So we're fighting Lust. Uh, chance for a reroll pedestal here, but we're only going to get one reroll on the floor, so we might want to be uh, a little picky with it. Ah, we just got a pill instead. I'm going to take it. Thank you for not being bombs or key. I took that pill on kind of a, a lark. I was worried that maybe it would be uh, telepills and take us to I Am Error and we miss out on our item room or shop on this floor, or both. Um, but hey, tears upgrade. That's lovely. All of our items synergizing well, working in concert with one another, feeling pretty good so far. It looks like our shop is not going to be worthwhile. Mostly because we, we can't get any bombs to get to the secret room. Yeah, so we'll be going to our item room instead. Picking up Rage, which honestly for free I think is a pretty good pickup. Better than average and uh, I like getting deals with the devil even if they're not that good. Because it takes other deal with the devil items, or it, it makes other deal with the devil items more likely to show up. So by taking rage, there's a better chance that we'll get mom's knife, a better chance that we'll get guppy items, etc., etc. So even though I lost a ton of hearts against Krampus, and I have no consumables except for money going down to the next floor, I would consider that floor to be a pretty major success. Curse of Darkness, uh, annoying. This is enough money to make our shop worthwhile, by the way. But Curse of Darkness. Mostly just mildly irritating, I guess, when you're, uh... When you don't have, uh, map and compass. It's gonna make it a little harder for us to tell where we're going. But at the same time, really, that's just kind of... I don't know, something I'm anal about, I suppose, right now. We don't really have to worry about where we're gonna use our rerolls, because we... No. Oh. We don't really have the ability to access rooms where we would use our rerolls right now. You know what? Why don't we uh, take this opportunity without having a key to push this uh, golden chest somewhere where I won't accidentally end up using it. Yeah. Otherwise, if we got a key, we would have to use it immediately on that golden chest just trying to get by it, which would be bad. Tears upgrade is pretty sweet. That's our second one of the game so far. Guppy's tail kind of backfiring a little bit right now. But could end up four firing for us. If we just end up uh, getting a deal with the devil on this floor, or the next floor, or you know, several floors in the future, who knows? Don't get hit. I was pretty concerned that I was going to get hit there. I'm not sure if you noticed. Well, please drop a key. This floor is a big old wild card right now. Well, this is, you know, in keeping with the fact that this floor is a huge wild card right now. Here is uh, the fallen. Has the potential to be our greatest friend. Or our worst enemy, or, you know, somewhere in between. Stay there. Ah, pretty good. Okay, so these guys are segmented in a way that I'm not comfortable with. Just... No! I got so close to actually getting out of this fight without taking red hard damage. We could... Nah, I don't think we can get a deal with the devil now. But we're unlikely to get one on this floor anyway, because we had one on the last floor. Yeah, I'm, I'm content to have the mark. I don't think we're missing anything, like... We've already been to everything on this floor, I think. That was a quick catacombs, at least. This one has an arcade, which is... seamy. You know what I'm talking about. Be cool. There we go. Alright, that, that room's always a little bit tricky. Especially because we're so... Oh, jeez, what a hell of a random shot from that green nub there, but... Um, we're, uh... We're in a good position. I would say that, you know, with half a Spirit Heart and the damage that we're doing, we have a very good chance at snagging a deal with the Devil here. Just don't get hit by this guy. And we could make this run work solely on deals with the Devil if we have to, but it would be nice to actually have keys to be able to access some of our, you know, standard important rooms as well. Apparently that's not plausible, though. Super easy boss fight. This should be our coming out party here. No? I'm surprised. But hey, another Tears upgrade. I took a bit of a risk on the coin purse. You know, we'll uh, we'll take these pills towards the end of the floor. I took a bit of a risk on the coin purse, but I figured, hey, we know that there's a tears upgrade. Tears upgrade is uh, inarguably one of the top, you know, maybe two or three pills in the game, depending on what you need. This, speaking of what we need, this money is not really what we need. 
right now. Hoping that there is a boss trap room on this floor. You don't need any keys to access the boss trap room. You just need a blood bank, which we already know that we have, and you need it to last a little while. Interesting run so far, though. We should, if we can get spirit arts, we should now, assuming everything goes to plan, be able to pretty much 100% guarantee a deal with the devil on the next floor. Which, again, is part of our guppy dreams. Not liquid dreams, that's the uh, smash hit single by O-Town from NTV's Making the Band. Back in the golden age of reality TV. It was still shitty, but it was new. Now. Ooh, that's bad damage. Uh, I, I'm not happy with that because the spirit heart was really supposed to last me until the boss fight on the next floor. It's okay, though. I'm, I'm amazed. Genuinely. That we're not getting a, uh, a key anywhere on the past couple of floors. We're getting a lot of locks. On the surface, those might look kind of similar, but uh, they're actually the inverse of what we need. Thankfully, we have a couple more rooms in this general direction. The more rooms, the better at this point. Not even to generate rerolls, uh, just to give us a small chance at actually being able to access the rooms that uh, could give us the best chance possible of success. Oh my god, thank you. So, what do you think? My guess is that our shop probably contains greed, but I have to try. All right. I bought it because I'm going to buy consumables. I'm going to take the moon card. Alright. Well, we don't have any bombs, otherwise I would try to use my little unicorn to play the uh, blood bank. So we got tons of pills. Let's just hold off on that for a second. We're going to gamble pretty hard here. Hopefully get the blood bag. We can spend a lot of time gambling on this floor. Not an infinite amount of time, but a lot of time. And you might not be wrong if you're suggesting that, hey, you should have saved that, uh, you should have saved that moon card for the depths too. That key is pretty big for us. But, at the same time, you might not be right either. Where am I going? Uh, item room. Item room is where I want to go. So we did manage to at least access both rooms. I bought the steam sale. Yeah, sue me, alright? It's not very good, but it's ours now. And again, lots of HP available for us here. I bought the Spirit Heart, which to me, oh, so good. Thank you, Relic. Uh, to me, buying that Spirit Heart was more or less a no-brainer. Really, really, really need to get ourselves a deal with the Devil on the next floor, if it's possible. And that could be all we need in order to succeed. Or it could be just a small, you know, piece of the puzzle. We'll see. Getting bombs is, is very nice. There's, uh, I think, Tinted Rocks I was unable to access. That doesn't really help us out all that much, but that's okay. We'll spend some time gambling in here. We can go down to about seven cents, because we really don't have uh, anything to spend our money on except the shop and judgments, but those are, you know, more randomly scattered. Now with two bombs, we could actually play our... Uh, ooh, careful. We could actually play our... Blood Bank with the Unicorn Horn, but is it worth two bombs to do that? A bit of a tricky choice, isn't it? Let's start with this. One bomb for a chest. It should go without saying that's not like my favorite trade ever. Let's start taking some of these pills. That hurts real bad. That doesn't help very much. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Let's try it. I can't even get into that uh, mob trap room now. Is the other pill a bad trip pill as well? If this pays out, I'm gonna be so happy. Not yet! Well, we did manage to get our fourth play out of it. I'm really amazed that we only got one fly out of it somehow. Thanks a lot, fish head. Like, that's the only thing you're actually good for and you didn't work with me on that one. No curse rooms as well, how does that happen? Shaking my head, no. Alright, we'll play until we get down to 20 cents, just because I need some kind of, like, metric for when to stop. Two keys will give us access to a golden chest. I don't want to leave this floor without making that, uh... Without making that, uh, blood bank pay out with something. 
Especially now that we've lost our spirit heart in the process. I know we have a uh, our D6 back there. I'm going to try not to forget that. That would be pretty catastrophic. So we got another key back there. We'll open this golden chest down here now. And I'm surprised with how long we've kind of been able to iterate on this floor. Just keep it going and going. But it's going to have to stop pretty soon. Mom's Pearl, substantially better than the fish head, I'd say. Do we take this other pill yet? Let's go... Let's go back and get this other pill. We don't need Unicorn Horn right now. Oh, yes, Tinted Rock. I forgot about you. Okay. We got a Spirit Heart out of it, which gives us way more uh, ability to play. We don't know this yet. We don't know it. We don't know it. Eh, that's fine. Well, how do I think we do this now? I know that we spent forever on this floor. Uh, I think we... Play the Three Skull Monty and try to win like a half heart, and then we maybe try to get to the Mob Trap Room and see what's contained in that chest. It's gonna be frustrating, but at the same time, I think it's the right way to play it right now. And who knows if, if this is all the key. At the very least, we've gotten keys out of it. We've been able to open every golden chest on this floor. That's a start. And the item room and the shop. That doesn't normally happen for us. Or it hasn't normally happened for us on this run. So we'll play this until... Until we have to, even though it's annoying and I think it's kind of a lame mechanic. Here we are. Why am I not playing the blood bank? Because I want to be able to access the mob trap room, which we need full health for. We don't technically need full health. We really just need uh, any kind of heart will do it. A spirit heart or a, uh, or a red heart. Or a half red heart. Or a half spirit heart, even though this is in Community Remix. Two booms. It's a start. We could maybe find a second secret room. Which would be beautiful, but I'm probably just going to save my bombs instead. Getting below 15 cents doesn't scare me as much as it normally does. Because we have Steam Sale. More keys would be lovely. We could just bomb our way into that uh, boss trap room. Or mob trap room. I think if we get down to 10 cents, that's what we'll end up doing. I was going to say, don't give me money in this situation. Have some more respect. No fly love. What do we have? Unicorn? Yeah, you can't really do anything with an expired unicorn horn. So that was our last play on the uh, Three Skull Monty for now. Come on. You gotta be kidding me with this like lack of payout business here. But we picked up enough bombs that we can go to this mob trap room. And again, I'm, I'm really amazed that we spent so much time on this floor, but I'm, I'm trying to pull on the seams. It's not giving me that much to work with, though. We got two bombs and two cents. So at the very least, why do I have... I picked up the unicorn horn for this? We don't need the reroll, but still. Um, at the very least, uh, we got our, our bombs back. And we made a little extra money in the process. But still. I could have... If I didn't notice that, I would have easily left this floor with the unicorn horn instead of the D6. And that would be, like, genuinely catastrophic, maybe. Oop. No extra HP at the end of that, unfortunately. So I think that mostly does it for our uh, for our situation here. We tried. Thank God we at least got the D6 back, but uh, yeah, we tried. We we picked up the relic. I guess I'll gamble just a little bit more because I want to win some red hearts. Of course, I would just immediately throw those into the blood bank. Or just give me fly love so I have to stop. That would be fine as well. Alright. Ten cents again. That's where we're going to stop. I've given up hope of getting the blood bag at this point. Ten cents or fly love? We need some luck upgrades, man. This is embarrassing. At least you picked up a lot of keys and a lot of bombs for this. And our money is not dire. Despite only being at eleven cents. Oh, there we go. We got another spirit heart, which is a huge payout for us. And allows us to... Play this a couple more times, and of course we pick up enough money to make it like nearly impossible for us to get back to 10 cents. But this is okay if it gives us the payout from the blood bank. Come on now. Work with me here. We've been here for like 20 minutes now. Grinding this out. We're up to 20 cents now. I'm still gonna choose 10 as my like threshold point. I mean, the longer we play... Statistically, the more consumables we get. We trade money for consumables. It's just a very inefficient way of doing it. 
If you would just give me fly love, the whole thing could be over right now, but you, you choose not to. I can't be blamed for that. He almost decided that he was done with it. Don't give me money, it's just a waste of my time. Without Bloody Penny, at least it's a waste of my time. Now I'm starting to get to the point where I'm angry at myself for still being here. I'm like, come on, just get out of here. You've, you've done your part. And then we got a dime, are you kidding me? All right, now 20 cents becomes the threshold because I don't hate myself this much. The sad thing about this is that this is the right play. It's beneficial. It's annoying as hell, but it's the it's the right way to play. And with only two shops remaining, 20 cents is more than enough to buy whatever we want. With the steam sale, at least. Red hearts, keys, or fly love? Just seriously. We could spend all fucking day here. I feel like I'm spending all freaking day here. And we got two more plays, and then we're gonna finally leave. I feel like my ability to actually hit enemies is gonna be compromised based on the fact that I've spent so much time just, you know, sitting on my ass in this room. All right, this is it. I, I hoped that you would blow yourself up in the process, but hey, I can also accomplish that for you. And there's our last two plays here. We tried. You can't say that we didn't try there. We played this floor for probably like the last 14, 15 minutes. And we got uh, a lot of money back. If nothing else, give this, uh, give this arcade a hand. It helped us out. Gave us more money than we could ever need, more keys than we've ever had, and uh, some bombs. Enough bombs to, you know, hit those secret rooms up. Plus, spirit hearts. And these spirit hearts are going to be enormous for us. We also picked up the relic on that last floor. It's easy to forget what happened because it took so long, but we picked up the relic on the last floor. That's potentially a huge item for us. Once every four rooms or so, we should be picking up a spirit heart. It gives us a huge deal with the devil potential for the future. And speaking of which, that's really what we've got to focus on this floor. Don't take damage. Stack up those spirit hearts because... If we get a deal with the devil on this floor, our chances of becoming guppy are quite high, especially if we have a reroll available, which we should. Speaking of which, it would be nice to have a, a useful shop. We picked up the steam sale, but steam sale is not that good unless we actually have the ability to, you know, buy something with it. Here's a reroll pedestal, Tammy's head. Wrong cat for us, unfortunately. Sacrificial dagger. I love it. I do love sacrificial dagger. I think it has super good uh, offensive capabilities. I'm a big fan. So, uh, our shots change color as time goes on, by the way, thanks to Rage. I sort of forgot that we had it, but I forgot a lot of our items when we got in that, you know, just purgatory of consistent gambling. Curse Room's a big, uh, possibility for us. Like, very good upside to the Curse Room. But we, uh, can't afford to lose a Spirit Heart going to it just yet, in my opinion. I forgot, but our damage is actually really good. Fuck it, let's lose, let's lose a spirit heart going to it. We've got a reroll ready. That's alright. That's alright. Sometimes you uh, roll the dice and you end up losing. But if you roll the dice consistently, you will end up losing, statistically speaking. So maybe that wasn't the perfect analogy. Okay. These guys are very easy to take out. Don't get too close to them. I noticed myself getting a little too close to them there. That's how you get burned. Especially considering we have Lump of Coal. There's, uh, there's value in staying away. We got super lucky there. Found our secret room without having to invest one of our own bombs. Can't really access that red chest as much as I'd like to. Alright. Reroll's ready, but nothing to spend it on. Boss room's right here. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, okay. A Spirit R drop here would be huge. Oh, it was huge. Okay. So even though we got hit there, we didn't lose red hearts. Now all we gotta do is, you know, standard Monstro 2 meta. What's the most important thing here? Don't be an idiot. I could very easily be an idiot and get way too close to Monstro trying to do damage with Sacrificial Dagger. The fight's going so well already. Don't mess with a good thing. We're almost done. Stay vigilant. Don't get cocky, kid. We're good. We gotta deal with the angel. That's a surprise to me. Guardian angel is a great item, but I really thought that our deal with the devil precedent existed. 
whatever. We got Jesus Juice and Guardian Angel combined with Sacrificial Dagger. I'd say that makes for a pretty good floor, even if it wasn't exactly what I'm looking for. Also, our shop is gonna be, uh, you know, a normal exchange of goods and services here, as opposed to fighting some kind of mythical demon. That's a surprise, but a, a pleasant one. And now our consumables are sorted for us. Man, if we could get, like, Nun's Habit. Nun's Habit Compass. That's it. Those are the items that I want. Uh, I'll settle for less, but I don't want to. That's my negotiation tactic. Go to the car dealership. All right, here's what I want to pay for it. I will pay more, but this is what I want. I'm uh, pretty much a uh, negotiation master as far as the dealers are concerned. Also, I've never owned a car. Now, that's not my way of being snooty about it. That's my way of saying I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Since we have enough keys, we can open that golden chest for sure. Especially considering we got another key uh, out of that situation. Item room contains pills. Uh, we don't have the luck foot. That was the last run. So we'll just see if maybe we get a little lucky. Yeah, that's uh, that's more than a little lucky. I don't think we'd get another reroll before our shop. So that's why I'm not using a reroll on the pills. Even though it's an active item I don't want. Worst case scenario, if we end up not being able to reroll those pills, we'll consider it a tears upgrade from our item room, which is a good upgrade. More spirit hearts, very valuable, of course. Book of Revelations. So a half price Book of Revelations is definitely worth picking up and then rerolling when we have this much money. Sweet, we got a spirit heart in the compass. Pretty much what I wanted. Death card is, is not very good, but it's what we have. All right. Again, I think this floor went relatively well. Next floor is where things start to kick off a little bit, but with the compass, I'm at least excited about the fact that we'll be able to see where we're going for once. Watch us get a Curse of Darkness. And our damage is good. Our HP is fairly bad, but we have the Relic backing us up. And again, this is uh, like the last run, a run where we didn't just go through standard deal with the Devil items. It's a bit of a, an interesting one. So we're really going to be looking for a lot of seams on this floor, but also and our, our shop is going to be a shop, it's not gonna have greed, that's so good, but... And, and so unlikely, given how many times we've, uh, you know, been to shops on this floor. But anyway, um, we're, we're gonna be looking for a lot of seams, and it looks like this is a floor with a lot of seams. There's a boss trap room, a blood bank, we've got HP. Item room contains quad shop, which is pretty much a no-brainer pickup here. Sometimes it, it can be a little bit of a difficult situation. But I think if you have nothing else, uh, as far as like special tier effects go, why not try it out? There's also a judgment up here, which is a big surprise for me. So I would love to get the map now to like complete our mapping. Uh, apart from that, I would love to, well, map from judgment and then like nuns have it from the uh, shop would be great. But hey, free HP upgrade, can't be too sad about that. Let's do the tricky dodge here. Could have just walked around the outside. Yep, probably would have even been faster, and we wouldn't have lost any HP. So I'm an idiot. Now, it looks like that might be greed in our secret room. I, I mean, it's... It's a mini-boss, we know that, but I'm just looking to see if it was like a... If it was a secret room, it has to be greed, basically. If it was actually, like, mapped, then it could be any mini-boss, which would be better. But... It is what it is. I think we'll sacrifice the spirit heart to go into our curse room right away. We're probably due for a payout pretty soon from another one. Okay. It doesn't always work out the way you want it to. I think we'll go fight Greed in our secret room right away. Because we have a reroll. So if he drops the quarter, because it's super Greed, uh, we can reroll it into a uh, another secret room item. And the secret room item pool is, at the very least, interesting. But nothing special there. Okay. Well, what's done is done there. We're gonna make our way down to our shop as quickly as possible. That's where our rerolls are gonna be best used, in all likelihood. Definitely use a bomb to get this spirit heart. Thought maybe we'd be able to place it someplace else. Oh, we're gonna get two spirit hearts. And a bomb and a key out of it, which is actually pretty nice. We were getting a little bit low on keys, so... You know, that, that becomes a pressing concern in a couple floors. We have a few floors where we maybe don't want to open any golden chests. And then, hopefully, we'll be good for later. You can see our damage here, it's fine, even without building very much from Rage. Extra Spirit Heart as well. I think, if I had to call this, I'd say we're in an above average position right now. There's also two Blood Banks, which is potentially super useful for us. Three bombs and a penny for a key is not a great deal, in my opinion. Nuns have it for free. Don't stop me now. So we, we bought this shop out, pretty much, but uh, I'm not going to... 
play the Blood Bank yet, just because I, I mean, we we generate rerolls when we play it because of the Nun's Habit, of course, but we don't really have any thing to use them on. But the only thing we're probably going to use them on is either our Boss Trap Room, which you know access to it requires we play our Blood Bank in the first place, or the Boss Room, which we won't have a chance to reroll unless we can teleport out anyway, which we don't have. So I don't know. This one's it's it's a bit of a weird one. I'm super happy we got the Nun's Habit. We might not be able to make the best use of it on this floor. But for now, we'll gamble like crazy here. I was going to say, watch them both pay out, like, immediately, now that I actually don't want them to. But hey, worst case scenario, we end up getting uh, HP plus speed upgrades. Best case scenario, we end up getting HP and speed upgrades, plus we get to go to the boss trap room. But I'm not going to be too sad about it either way, because, you know, we're... Yes, this is why. <laughs> the one time I want you to not pay out right away, you both pay out on like three combined plays. But whatever, that's going to make us faster and stronger. We won't be able to access, like even if one of them had paid out and given us the IV bag, we could have accessed this and still gotten back to full health, but whatever. Shit happens. It's a good thing. Hard to be salty about a floor where you snag uh, three HP upgrades, like for basically no reason. Three HP upgrades and quad shot and nuns have it. Uh, it's going pretty well so far. And that's without any, like, truly special rooms. Uh, that's bad damage on my part, but hey, traded a key for a spirit heart. Even though we're starting to get low on keys, I think that's a pretty good deal. You know what? I think that room was a decent use of the death card. And Sad Onion is so good! This floor turned out quite nicely for us. Sad Onion is especially good with quad shot, where our rate of fire is, like, really hindered by the fact that, you know, we're shooting four shots at the same time. Alright, this fight is nearly over. Even though we haven't built very much rage at all, that's incredibly encouraging. Now, obviously, uh, why do those items always show up in pairs? But anyway, we're leaving you. Because we already have the, uh, uh, we already have Lump of Coal, so I really don't want a Shot Speed upgrade. Alright, well this is interesting, at the very least. We know this pill? I think I've seen that pill, yeah. A Blood Bank here is quite interesting. I don't think there's much value in playing it, because we already have a decent amount of HP. But the value in playing it will come from if we need to reroll our boss item like seven times. Oh, that's so good. So there is a chance that maybe we don't want to use the Joker card on this. No, we want to use the Joker card on our first reroll. Like this reroll that we get right here. That way we get, we can reroll things twice if we want to, but we don't really want to. Blood of the Martyr is fine by itself. I still don't really know why we're getting deals with the uh, Angel, but oh well. Uh, we already have a reroll ready. Yeah, let's just work it in here. Like I didn't. I started a new instance of Isaac for this run. I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure what's uh, what's the leading cause of this here, but it's all good. Pony is rerollable. <laughs> And we can get a lot of rerolls if we have to. It would be sweet if you dropped a Judgment card as well. The odds of that are like 1 in 100, but hey. Sometimes you uh, gotta try. Pageant Boy is super not worth picking up. You know I'm lazy. I would love to just take that item and go. But it's the wrong play. Uh, so we'll play this a couple times. If we get lucky, we'll get the payout. I really doubt that we will, but it would be nice. And, hey, we have an added fringe benefit here of being able to get to a half-hard interval, which is fine. You know, it's nice. Or maybe... I forgot I can't fly. What a waste of a spirit heart. There's our half-hard interval. And HP upgrade. All right. Next floor. This is... Uh, it's going quickly now. I don't really feel a need to fight greed, if you ask me. Um, yeah, that is greed. Oh, could have easily been hit there. Damn, what a, what a weird run. But hey, at least it shakes up the meta a little bit from the kind of static, like, guppy stuff that I was doing. Because it works, and it, you know, shows up quite frequently. But this is a bit more novel, which I like. We haven't seen, like, a quad shot run in a little while, either. Dodge the other way. Dodge the other way. Really? There we go. I knew there was, like, some optimum distance to shoot that shot away and I would be fine. I swear to god, like, the bombs that Wrath shoots out are, like, stickier. They're harder to get away from. 
It's a little easier if you don't just stand right next to them. Probably. I wouldn't know. Okay. So cocky, I just walked right past that guy before he was even dead. Hey, where are you going? I'm going on to the world of the living, motherfucker. Care to join me? Too bad. Can't open that. All right. Mom's heart. Should be easy. We have homing bombs, if I remember correctly. That worked. Monstro? Yeah. Remember, Monstro is what, uh, he's the kink in the garden hose. He's what slows it down. But with him dying relatively quickly, this is also where I should actually be using my uh, tactic to stand right next to the boss and letting, uh, bad damage on my part, but letting Sacrificial Dagger do a ton of damage. This worked out very nicely. Up to the cathedral, thankfully not a Curse of Darkness. It's not gonna be that easy, yeah. It looked like the boss room was only two rooms away. Nah, 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 nah. That doesn't happen very often. Occasionally, but uh, if, if I had the map and I saw that, I would believe it, like map and compass. With just the compass, that's too good to be true. But it still was pretty close. Just a couple of extra rooms away. I would love to get some more keys. We are headed down to the chest very soon, but I think we can win this one, or are going to win this one run uh, pretty easily, even without it. Even without being able to open a lot of stuff on our chest, that is. Our chest? That's probably not the way I meant to describe that. So, I think we probably do use bombs when we get hit. We're not shooting that often, so the dodges are not impossible. We've only been hit once. Yeah, this is feeling pretty good. Whenever he takes a, a breather for a second, we can sneak in like 10% of his total HP. All right. So if we get hit one to three times on this Isaac fight, I'm gonna be pretty stoked. That's two. Even like five times I'd be fine with. But that's uh, that's three, looks like three is gonna be the magic number for us. That's really good because on Blue Baby we'll be able to build Rage. That's not to say it's gonna be easier to beat Blue Baby than it is to beat Isaac, but I think it's possible. Justice is a pretty big get for us here because of that key, which we then opened and picked up Fat Odd Mushroom. I was like, what is that? Um, which is good, Fat Odd Mushroom is great for us, although it, I think it ruined my half heart interval or I might have ruined it myself by picking up a heart. By accident, things happen pretty quickly there. I think that was Fat Odd Mushroom anyway. It was it was either Fat Odd Mushroom or Skinny Odd Mushroom, and to be honest with you, I'd be happy to have either of them, so I'm not salty about it either way. I'm just trying to kind of reverse engineer it. Oh, I didn't realize you were coming that way. My mistake. War, stop being the shield for your buddy here, okay? He doesn't need you to fight his battles for him. Mostly because you're both gonna be dead, but like seriously, let him have some dignity in death. Can't open that, but the spirit heart is a nice get for us, and we're only two rooms away from the boss. Alrighty. So, say it with me now. Fuck Super Lust. Basically, like, the bombs are not even our damage dealers here. They're just our way of at least slowing them down long enough for us to be able to hurt them. That's a Tears Upgrade. Very nice pill, and uh, those Tears Upgrades set a really nice precedent for us early. Uh, knowing that those were in our rotation and getting so many of them helped us out quite a lot. What a, just again, a, a very comfortable, uh, interesting, slightly unusual run that ended up being strong uh, by its own merits. I still have no idea why we got to deal with the angel items instead of deal with the devil items, but hey, here we are. Alright, so I'm pretty sure that if we wanted to, we could just tank this. So I'm actually gonna do so because I think that'll speed up the fight a lot. Um, which, you know, the faster the fight goes, the less likely I am to die in the process. Usually. Sacrificial Dagger doing a ton of damage. Somehow we didn't get hit there. And we're done. Alright, that was a fun run. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. If you didn't, well, I apologize, but you should know by episode 900 and whatever what's gonna happen. <laughs> In any case, again, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode, and I will see you next time.